Hey everyone, I'm John Heymans. I'm a professional athlete in the 5km on the track and you were a lot to ask me how I qualified for the Olympics using ChatGPT. Yes, I used ChatGPT to qualify for the Olympics and without it, I wouldn't have qualified. So in this video, I'm going to explain how I did it, all the behind the scenes and how you can do it as well if you want to qualify for the next Olympics. Also, side note, this is no bullshit, it's no clickbait, it's really a true story and also you could really apply it for the next Olympics. Now that we're talking about qualifying for the Olympics, let's start by explaining how you can qualify for the Olympic Games in the 5000 meters. Basically, the World Athletics Organization wants to take 42 athletes to the 5000 meters and there are two ways to qualify to be among these 42 athletes. The most difficult way is to run a qualification uh, time. So in two years, they will define a specific qualification time you'll have to run on the 5000 meters and they expect only the best 50% athletes to run the time. The second way to qualify is for the bottom 50% of the athletes. So from place uh, 21 to 42 in the world they take the world ranking. So the best athletes qualify through a time and then they complete the world ranking until the top 42 in the world. And that's the way to qualify. Now, the big question is, how can you increase your world ranking? And that's where I use ChatGPT to optimize my ranking. The World Federation will take your three best races in the 5K and with a scoring system, they take the average of the score of each of these three races and that's your score for your world ranking and the guy with the highest score is first, the guy with the 40 seconds best score is place 42, and so on, and so on, and so on. Now, the way to earn points in a race is defined by three parameters. The first one is your time you run. For example, if I run a 5K in 20 minutes, I will earn less points than when I run a 5K in 15 minutes. The second way to earn points is by your placing. So when you place first in the race, you'll have earn more points than when you place that last. And the third parameter is the prestigiousness of the race. So the World Athletics Federation assigns a certain prestige to every race. There's from Diamond League to Gold, Silver, Bronze, and so on and so on. And when you place first in the most prestigious race, you'll earn much more points than when you place first, for example, in a bronze race. So three parameters that define your world ranking points in a race, your time, your placement, and the prestigiousness of the race you raced in. Now, let me tell you the story of how I used ChatGPT. So back in 2022, I was outside the top 42 in the world ranking, and I wanted to be in this first 42 athletes to qualify for the Olympics. But I knew I would barely make it. So I had to optimize my ranking. I knew I would be unable to run the qualification standard, which was only reserved to the best athletes. Side note, eventually I made this time, but I didn't think before I could run that qualification time. So I was aiming for the world ranking. By analyzing the ranking, and I want to show a picture of it, you can see that a certain person in the top 42 ran the same time as a person that was ranked like 61st in the world. So that means that these two runners had the same level, but one, the one who was 61st in the world, didn't qualify for the Olympics, and the other one who was in top 42 could make it to the Olympics. So my conclusion was, all right, it's not only the best athletes who make it to the Olympics, it's really the ones who optimize their world ranking and get into this top 42. This guy in the top 42 in the world knew that he didn't only have to run fast, but also had to optimize which race he raced in, so the label of the race and his position in the race. So basically, it's a mathematical optimization problem with three parameters, the label of the race, the time you run and your position in the race. And that's where I wrote a computer algorithm using ChatGPT to solve this mathematical optimization problem. And the output of that algorithm told me, John, you have to run that, that and that race to optimize your world ranking. Now, for the nerds among you, I'll go more in detail of how this whole process came to light. I started by going on the World Athletics website, going on the world rankings. You can see that it's updated every couple of months and I scraped all the data. So I created a scraper also with ChatGPT and I plotted in a graph how the world ranking points evolved over time. So to be first in the world back in 2022, 
you needed less points than now in 2024 because the general level in the world is continuously rising every year, every year, every year. So what I did, I plotted place 42 because the 42 best athletes qualify for the Olympics. I plotted the line. I can show you a picture as well. And then I could plot the line until 2022 from where that was the time I scraped all the data. And I wanted to see how this line, this trend would evolve over time until 2024. Because I wanted to know how much world ranking point I would need in 2024 to be among the top 42. So I wrote a machine learning algorithm that predicted the curve. And I predicted that in 2024, the Place 42 in the world should have around 1,215 points to be in the 42nd position in the world ranking. And now looking back at the Olympics in Paris, I was, I think, a couple of points uh, besides the, the true world ranking number. So my prediction was super accurate. That was my starting point. I knew, all right, that's the barely minimum amount of world ranking points I have to hit. And I have to hit this number with three competitions. So this number has to be the average of my three best competitions in the 5,000 meters. For the second part of the journey, I made this mathematical optimization where I started from the core question, all right, which level do I think I will hit on the 5K? And I thought I would be able to run 13 minutes and 15 seconds. So my starting point was my level will be 13 minutes and 15 seconds. I have to hit 1215 points in which races will I maximize my chance to hit 1215 points with a time of 13 minutes and 15 seconds. So I had to find the races with the highest possible label but also where I could place first or second or third like very high in the race and that's where I scraped a lot of data of different races and I discovered certain races that's maximize my chance. They told me, all right, John, in this race, if you run 13 minutes and 15 seconds, you have 80% chance based on all historical data from the race every year to hit this 1,215 points. And then there were other races where they went super fast, but my algorithm showed me that based on historical data, I would only place last or eight in the race. And so I would have a lot of difficulties to place high and so to hit this 1,215 points despite being able to run fast. Because it's not only about running fast, it's about placing high as well. So in the end, the algorithm told me, John, you have to run indoors in an indoor track. You have to run gold and silver level races. If I run silver level races, I think I had to place at least seconds. But outside on an outdoor track, my best shot was to run bronze level races, place second or first, or civil level races, and place first, second, or third. But not gold level races or diamond leagues, because my chance of really earning a lot of points was too little. But then I also didn't have to run all bronze level races or civil level races. There were certain races where really I knew that every year I had more chance to place high than in other races, and this is something I discovered by scraping all the data of all the races. I hope it was a bit clear that my explanation was not too messy, but it's really a way to qualify. If you think you cannot run the qualification standard, which is only reserved for the best in the world, if you could only qualify through the ranking and barely make it into the top 42 in the world, then I really suggest optimizing your choice of races by writing an algorithm, making a data analysis, and really discovering the races that maximize your chance to earn a lot of world ranking points and place high in the world ranking. Will I use it for the next Olympics? I don't think so, because I hope that at the next Olympics, I'll be one of the best athletes that can be able to qualify through the qualification time. So I will not struggle too much to place high in the world ranking. I hope and I expect it as well. So I will not use it for the next uh, Olympics. But if you think you're the athlete that needs to optimize your world ranking, you should definitely try to optimize this with an algorithm. Now, I used ChatGPT because it was the era of ChatGPT just came out. But now there are already much more powerful coding algorithms. So if you are making it yourself, I highly suggest using other platforms such as Replit, Cursor. And maybe if you're watching this video two years later, when I posted it, there are already much better platforms out there 
so choose the best coding platform the most performant one for you and um, yeah good luck with your journey to the olympics thanks everyone for watching this video if you have suggestions for other ideas in future videos just drop in the comments or if you have questions about this video also drop it in the comments i'll try to answer most of them and see you in the next video ciao